Forest. A grand send-off for Joe Barbara. The retired engineer dreamed up his flying lawn chair adventure last year while hiking the Pacific Crest Trail from Mexico to the North Cascades. It took forever to fill the balloons, and we had a lot of them pop. Joe's wife says there were problems from the beginning. With fewer balloons, Joe had to drop ballast, including radio equipment, even oxygen. By the time he went up too high, he was up at about 20,000 feet. So not good to be up that high. They lost radio contact and could see Joe was losing altitude. He was heading towards Cascade Locks in the Columbia River Gorge. We followed his wife there, but Joe didn't make it that far. He crash landed and not in a safe place. So. 40 feet up in a tree is probably not good. <laughs> but, you know, if he's talking, that's good. Well, we followed the coordinates and they took us here to a very remote area in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. And the rescue attempt is underway right now, about 100 yards down this steep ravine. Rescue crews scrambled with chainsaws and ropes. You can see his balloons there in the forest canopy. It took several hours, but we were there when Joe walked out uninjured. He describes the landing. Just kind of moved in. And went down again, down again, down again. A little scary. And then at some point, the apex uh, caught. So I ended up, all my lines were taut. I was in the chair, upright, sitting back, not hurt. As he sat in the tree, he expected the limbs to give way, but they cradled him just long enough. I got to do what my wife has to say. Yeah, are you in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> he is the definition of an intrepid aviator. So what did his wife have to say as she watched him walk out of the woods? Oh, well, I'm glad he's down. Glad he's... Walking. While he didn't break any records, Joe had a blast and lived life to the fullest for his 60th birthday. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. In the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, Wayne Haverly, KGW News Channel 8.